day, good morning. This is the Big JB. Morning Thunder, it's Wednesday. Uh, I have been reticent in my Morning Thunder uh, attempts this week because Monday I didn't really have anything to say and I didn't really want to want to do it. Just I was not feeling it. Um, I had to get into work because I knew it was going to be busy as well. Yesterday, Tuesday, I went on a field trip with my son and so I didn't have uh, enough time to do it. Um, I probably could have done it from home, but you know, I, I slept in a little bit and went on the field trip, dropped my car off. So um, I got new brakes and new tires, which is really good because my brakes were squealing and my tires were going bald apparently. <laughs> so I got those taken care of. Oh, and they said that it, the I was having some uh, tread separation. I'm trying to see if this guy is gonna try to pull in next to me or what, nope. Um, I was having some tread separation, which is bad because then you have a, could have a blowout and that would suck. Um, I'm trying a new app this week. I heard about it thanks to uh, Hypothetical Help. If you're not listening to Hypothetical Help and you want another podcast, it is also done by Scott Johnson, who is the um, founder of Frog Pants, um, Frog Pants Studios. I can't remember, Frog Pants Productions. Anyway, it's frogpants.com. He um, basically has a whole bunch of things in the Frog Pants network. Um, most of the shows are ones that he is involved in. And Hypothetical Help is uh, him and a guy named Terpster, well, that's his nickname, of course, uh, who also does the instance, the World of Warcraft instance, um, with him. And they take questions, either calls or audio files that have been submitted by um, their listeners, sometimes emails where they ask a question, and Scott and Terpster give their opinion. They are not licensed counselors or psychiatrists or anything like that. Um, they're just guys, but they have good life experience, and it's it's really cool to hear a lot of the things that they that they talk about um, on that show. So um, Terpster was talking about this app that's called, I just completely forgot the name of the app. I think it's called Sleep Cycle. Um, if you look up Sleep Cycle on the iTunes store, um, and I think they have one coming for the Android, it um, it's the top rated one. It's got like 12,000 ratings and the average rating is four and a half stars. Um, essentially what it does is it checks, it uses the, the vibration sensor, the motion sensor that um, the iPod Touch, the iPhone, you know, any of the new generation um, apps use. And what you do is you, you, you have to plug it in because it leaves the screen on because there's a limitation to the iOS that um, you can't lock your screen or, or go to the home screen while it's running. It doesn't just, it can't just run in the background. So you have to, to turn it on. Um, you put it, they recommend glass side down because the screen is on. You could, I suppose you could leave it up and turn the brightness way down. Um, and then what you do is at the corner of your bed. So like I've got my pillows and then at the corner of the bed, what I do is I, um, they recommend that you either leave it there or that you, you know, tuck it under the sheet. So it has something that holds it in place. Um, and then you tell it what time you want to wake up and how big of a window you want to use for it to wake up. And what it does is it detects your movement at night because um, it, it can tell by your body movement when you're entering different periods of sleep. And so, um, and then you can look at the statistics and it'll show you when you're awake, like when I got up to use the bathroom in the night, it has a peak that goes up into awake and then the graph goes down gradually from asleep down into deep asleep. Uh, or deep asleep? No, deep sleep. Um, and then it shows me going back up. And what it does is based on that, um, and I think over time it gets a little bit more intuitive, like it learns your patterns, but what it does is it wakes you up when you're on your way up to that lighter sleep area so that you don't feel like you're being woken up out of deep sleep. Um, it's, it's really cool. I've used it the past uh, couple days. Um, I think yesterday and today were the first two times I used it. And I didn't wake up groggy. I didn't wake up like super alert and like, hey, I'm ready to go. Let's rock the day. But I don't wake up. Uh, the last two days anyway, I haven't felt like I woke up in the middle of one of these. And you've got that sleep inertia. I don't know if you've ever had that where you wake up and you're like, I just got to go back to bed. Like when you sleep too late in the day and you just feel like you should just go back to bed. Uh, I had one of those on, on Saturday, got up, took care of some stuff with the kids, went back to bed and I laid there and I thought, I'm not going to go back to sleep. There's no way. Cause usually when I wake up in the morning, um, I'm awake. Um, but I went back to, went back to bed. I kind of laid there. I fell asleep. It was like eight o'clock when I laid back down 
And then like 9.30 happened, and I knew that it was later than I wanted to get up. And I popped up out of bed, and man, I was so groggy. And I was a grouch, too. It was just... So that was not fun, and I don't want to do that. So for the next week, I'm going to be trying the Sleep Cycle app um, and, and giving it a shot and see how I feel. Um, the other thing I want to use, and um, you can use it too if you're interested, it's Sleepy Time. It's the name of the website. It's sleepyti.me. Um, and what it does is you can tell it what time you want to wake up, and it'll tell you the different times that you should go to sleep, that you should be asleep by, not just hit the bed, but actually be asleep by, um, so that you are waking up in one of those natural cycles. And, uh, I'm going to look up, you know, a good time to go to sleep. If I'm going to get up at six, I think it says 1030 to be asleep by. So, uh, I'm going to look that up and then try to combine that with a uh, sleep cycle and see if that helps. Cause I just need to be getting more sleep. So it's fascinating to me the way the body works in these 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 newfangled technologies uh, back in my day I used to wake up to crows roostering in the yard Arr! I did say that wrong on purpose by the way um, so it's, it's six and a half minutes of me ranting on about this but I hope you found it interesting I am going to go inside and um, since I was out yesterday I imagine that there is a crap ton of stuff for me to take care of and I'm late for a morning phone call, which is not a great idea. Crap. I just realized that. So I better get inside. This has been The Big JB. You can find me online at Voice of the Big JB. That's on Twitter. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell your friends if you liked it. Thanks very much. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.